Welcome Aquarians. Um, this is uh, the energy, the mystical uh, timeline from 31st of October until the 31st of March. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Aquarians. Uh, this energy, this frequency is going to be showing up what you're going to be having problems in and uh, where the problems is going to be. All right. It's a five month period. It is the mystical timeline. It is when the veils are thinner and it's between the 31st of October and the 31st of March. I want to say thank you for being here. Please remember to like and share for people who have subscription on my channel. The extended is going to go deeper and you can pick them up uh you can pick up this extended um over a week or so okay because it's, it's starting from now all right let's see what's coming out for you aquarians all right we see the energy of cancer some of you are going to be dealing with a cancer um person but it can also be a nurturing person you're going to be dealing with a whole lot of emotional surrounded a Pisces, a cancer person. Okay, so some of you Aquarians could be connected to this cancer person. You could be in some sort of a connection with this person. Okay, I see a Libran, but they're in the reverse. You're dealing with a cancer and a Libran, but the Libran is in the reverse. Okay, I wanted to put it up upright, but I'm leaving it in the reverse. Um, whoever this cancer is, this cancer and this Libran could be a couple or um, some of you are dealing with both people or you're dealing with one of them, a Libran or a cancer. But the Libran is in the reverse, okay? Uh, the fourth house, some sort of a problem, legal issues surrounding a house is going to be coming up for you Aquarians. Legal issues surrounding a house. Yeah. Legal issues surrounding a house is going to be coming up. All right. Problems with a house in uh, the month of January. Yes, there is, there's a lot of secrets. The energy of the moon is also in the reverse. It's coming out in the reverse. Um, Some sort of a secrecy surrounding a house. Some sort of a legal issue surrounding a house is going to be coming out. Definitely, there's no question about this. So. That's why they came up in the reverse. So this is legal issue surrounding a house. And uh, there's a lot of secrecy surrounding this legal issue in this house. Okay. And the last energy is that we have uh, <gasps> your luck is in the reverse. Aquarians, your luck is in the reverse. So if you Aquarians had a house or had some sort of a legal issue surrounding a house, your luck is in the reverse and uh, something happens. Okay. Whatever happens, there was a lot of secrecy surrounding this house. And it's as if we're going to be going further, but what the guides are saying is as if people are not going to be finding out. So you have the chance to lose a house Libran. Uh, a Libra, yeah, a house to a Libran, or in legalities, you're going to be losing a house Aquarians, okay? And there is something, it could be the lawyer, okay? Because your luck run out in March, okay? This energy of the luck is, it runs out in March, okay? Because this is your lucky energy. There is two luck, lucky energy in the stack, and this is the Neonorium. So it is uh, the energy that governs. Yeah, mysterious, mystery, secrets. You had a lot of mystery, secrets around in a house. And it's going to be coming out. Okay. So what is this saying? The unknown. Okay. ESP, psychic abilities could be coming up, could be awakening. Universal truths, the old man, source of the un, untouchable, the shadow work, inner knowing, ghosting, other words, space. So some of you could be also awakening, okay? The numulus, because this is the deck. This is the deck from the numulus. I don't have the box here. 
and this is the mystical time um aquarian so you yourself could be awakening also if you are divine masculine or feminine you could be awakening okay that's why the energy of also the moon which is the same as the numerous but the numerous is a ninth ninth house this is fourth house this is also fourth house it's about your home it's about the home that some of you have it's in the reverse okay yes and it's about the family home it, 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 things are going to be coming about coming out about your family background comforting in an, in your inner world so spirituality awakening real estate okay self-care so i did say it has to do with um self-care it has to do with real estate you can be also spiritually awakening and for some of you you're going to be spiritual awakening because this is the ninth house and this is about the self also and you have the energy of the fourth house also in the reverse and then you have a liberan in the reverse so is legal issue with real estate that is going to be happening um a lot of you are going to be opening up divine masculine feminines you're going to be um opening up so uh, there's a lot that is happening at this timeline i will advise you guys do not do any um do not do any uh any magic it's gonna backfire you have too much power okay um, this could be starseed being awakened okay so if starseed was lost they're going to be awakened when this period is over because it's a mystical period okay um that's when the veils are thinner so that's when a lot of people are awake or become awakened okay this is and it has to do with your fourth house fourth house is about yourself the first house is about connecting with yourself but the first house is about your house your inner self who you are as a person so you're connecting with the higher realms spiritual okay but um be aware if you do any witchcraft at this time it's going to backfire and it's going to be costing you and your family so be aware aquarians all right let's see what's coming up with this cancer yes this cancer had a lot of secrets you are connecting or dealing with a cancer that has a lot of secrets listen aquarians again from october 31st until march 31st there is a lot of unseen things that is going to be happening these are the messages there's a, a lot of unseen things whoever this cancer is this cancer has a lot of secrets okay you're dealing with a cancer connecting with a cancer yes the cancer has a lot of secrets it's like the cancer is looking for some sort of an offer the cancer wants some sort of an offer and could be connecting with you aquarians okay they're looking for some sort of a stable in their world okay um yeah beware of this cancer um and i don't see why you would be hooking up with a cancer okay yes this cancer they're going to be finding out uh, um you could be connecting with this cancer whoever this cancer is this cancer has a lot of secrets okay the scan says uh, the moon is in cancer psychic abilities is going to be awakening um aquarians a whole your psychic ability is going to be so awakening but you aquarians be aware of a cancer the scan says has a whole lot of secrets it's a liar okay uh four of cups you're regretting a situation you're going to be regretting a situation if you had gotten connected with a cancer or a relationship with a cancer or a libran or someone let's say in uh you hook up with a cancer in november december you're going to regret it okay you're regretting a situation with a libran now You could have gotten some sort of a offer, or a Libran could have hooked you up with a cancer. You're regretting it. You're regretting some of you are regretting a situation with a cancer, some of you are regretting a situation with a Libran. Okay, the King of Pentacles. You're dealing, you're connected with this person, whoever this person is. You're connecting with this person surrounding a house. 
um, the Spurs could come, come up as your lawyer or a real estate broker. This man is going to be finding out a lot of secrets about you. You're you're dealing you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man. This man is regretting a situation. It's like this man took on a legal suit and is now regretting it because this man has found out something. Okay, you could be in a relationship with this man. But this man is going to be finding out some sort of a secrecy surrounding a house. Okay. This is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man. Um, this could be your lawyer. This could be the broker. This could be someone. This man is going to be, he's regretting something surrounding a house. Okay. Um, and this is really a house. It's something that you owned. He's regretting something about this. There's a lot of secrecy there's some secrecy that comes out about this this house because here is the law in the reverse um yeah wow the energy of the tower all the secrets is going to be coming out surrounding this house there for some of you is a house for some of you secrecy that you aquarians had kept this energy of the tower is sitting by the ninth house and the moon and the energy of the moon is about secrecy because a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man is going to be finding out a lot of secrecy and a tower moment. This man is could be also stepping away um, from this lawsuit. Wow. Um a lot of you Aquarians are going to be awakened. There is no question about this. You're definitely going to be awakened. Yes, you're going to be having sleepless nights. You're going to be very, very, very worried and sleepless nights. And this could be affecting you because this is coming out of the ninth house where it's as if a lot of you are pushed to awaken to your, your divine self, okay? Or pushed to awaken. It's as if you have been just playing out time and whatever is happening from the third the 31st of October to the 31st of March, it is pushing you to confront yourself with your divine uh, self. Okay, I gotta close the window. A lot of you Aquarians are going to be very 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 awakened your divine is as if if you you're if you were activated because sometimes people can activate you and you were not fully awakened especially when you get to march it's like you can't sleep you can't do anything because it's as if you recognize you were living in an illusion okay it's, it's as if the veil of illusion is going to be lifting from you something about you aquarians in this time is very mystical and it's about you finding your divine way okay whatever is going on is going to be very powerful because uh, you're having sleepless nights you are definitely having sleepless nights you're very worried the energy of the tower your secret came out your secret is out it's like your lawyer is going to confront you or a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man is going to be confronting you of something where you are going to be fucked. Um, when I say that, I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, everything is like your head is full because a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man is going to be confronting you of something. Yeah, there is a lot of secrets and whatever secrets that you have with a cancer or you are connected with this cancer you're going to be finding out why this cancer get connected to you okay all right let's uh, move on with this reading all right so what it is with this cancer yeah eight of cups regrets for some of you it's a cancer eight of cups you're walking away or a cancer is going to be walking away from you so let's say you started hooking up with a cancer in the month of november 
as you move through the year through the year end, this cancer is going to be walking away from you or you're going to be walking away from them it can be vice versa you walk it away from them they walk it away from you um because this cancer have a lot of secrets this cancer is going to be finding out something yeah ten of wands you have a whole lot of burdens you're going to be dealing with aquarians surrounding a situation with a libran or a legal situation okay because this this libran if you're in a relationship with a libran or connecting with a libran or some sort of an offer you are open to get some sort of an offer from a libran this libran is in the reverse and i think that this libran could be that uh, i am I, I don't agree with you and what you're doing okay i think this libran is also carrying a lot of burdens so it's as if you want something from the celebrant, but the celebrant can't give you what you want because they themselves are, are going through a problematic situation. All right. So the celebrant is having a lot of burdens. Um, is it that you're connected with the celebrants and their burdens is what you're carrying, but you have a lot of burdens. Okay. Whoever this cancer is was looking for um the two of ones this, this cancer was open for something okay the, this 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 cancer was open for something all right but you can't give this cancer what they want this cancer was definitely open for something okay and you're dealing with a libran and this libran is also creating a lot of burdens for you too okay so you're juggling you seems to be juggling two people for some of you some of you could be juggling two people or some of you are juggling a situation yes you're dealing with a capricorn man whoever this capricorn man is some of you you could be in a relationship with this person this person could be a father figure this person but this person is very emotional because this person is now finding out something about a house or finding out something about you the family could have found out something about you and this Capricorn man is going to be confronting you this Capricorn man is now very very emotional because some sort of a legal situation this cap this Capricorn man is finding some sort of a secret out about uh, you Aquarians this this is coming up as a family so this could be your father if your father is a Capricorn a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn your father is finding out something about you and and yes it's it's not very positive because he's very emotional yeah tell a moment for Aries the or Sagittarian woman they found out the secrecy of an Aries the or Sagittarian woman um there could be if your father that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man is in a relationship with an Aries or Sagittarian woman. This woman could be leaving him because this woman have found out a whole lot of secrecy about your father or about you. If you're in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo with an Aries or Sagittarian woman, um, there is going to be unexpected situation that is going on okay all right my camera goes out ladies and gentlemen so i think this is going to be in a part two